products do you use that help you feel more confident and more put together when you walk out the door? That's what we're discussing today. Hi, my name is Mel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So I thought this would be a fun little video to do where I am just going to discuss some of the products that make me feel a little bit more confident and more put together before uh, as I'm getting ready for the day. Uh, the majority of them are going to be drugstore, which I know a lot of you like. So if you're curious to see what products I use on my over 50 skin, let's get into it. I've been using this CoverGirl Priming Glow Mist a lot lately just to prep my skin for my foundation and all my skincare products, but it does a, such a great job. Really, really enjoying it. Next, we're going to go in with the Clinique Even Better All Over Primer and Color Corrector. This is a big step for me, giving me that confidence because I have really dark under eye circles. And I think when I get them covered up, they, it just makes me feel better. You can see how it's like, it has a, like a little bit of a peachy undertone. So that's really going to help neutralize that purpley blue that I have under my eyes. I don't need a lot of this, just like a little dot. And it really does leave my skin quite hydrated underneath the eye. I'm just going to go in with my finger and tap it in. And I, cause I want that to sit for a few minutes before I go in with my concealer. I like that it's a two in one, how it also uh, like primes the under eye area as well as uh, color corrects. But you can see here how it did a really nice job of neutralizing that dark pigmentation for me. Next is my Holy Grail eyebrow pencil. I don't think I've done a video without having this pencil on there. It's the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I have this one in the shade Medium Brown. But this is such a beautiful eyebrow pencil. I, it's not like I do a lot with my eyebrows, uh, but whatever the formulation is on with this brow pencil, it just does a great job of depositing enough uh, pigmentation and the, it lasts all day. I don't really have to do anything else with my brows. When I'm doing my makeup, it's such an important step for me to do my eyebrows. You can see how nicely it like, just kind of frames my whole face and just makes me feel more complete. To start on my face, we're going to use the Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator. And then I'm going to use another foundation to kind of do a little bit of more spot treatment because this one is a, just a really light coverage. I have this one in the shade Light Medium. And I just put a little bit on. I don't use a lot of this, uh, but I mean, I just blend it in with my fingers. It does such a great job. I don't even really need to use a sponge. But it's giving me just enough coverage to even out my skin tone. Uh, it's very moisturizing. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, very lightweight. It's not greasy. And it does have like more of a sheer to medium coverage. So that's why I'm going to go in with a little bit of extra foundation. Let's see how it's just kind of giving me just enough coverage. Not too much. I'm not a full face foundation kind of person anyhow. Then to give me a little bit more coverage, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Foundation. I have this in the dewy version. And also the shade Buff Bisque Light Medium. This is more of a neutral shade. And this is also just giving me a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going to use my, my elf sponge and blend it in. This does give me a bit of a hydrated look, a luminous finish when I'm done with it. It's more for like uh, like a normal to dry skin and it does have buildable coverage. So that's what I'm, why I'm pairing it with the, the other product. Now this concealer is the one that's going to give me the most confidence that I'm going to have my under eye circles covered up. This is the Lancome Tint Idel Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have this one in the shade 215 Buff. This is my absolute favorite, favorite concealer. I haven't found anything else that even will compare to this. Very hydrating under my eyes. I have quite dry under eyes. This just looks so hydrated. I can wear it for a good 12 hours and it looks just as good as when I put it on. And I usually just blend it in with my finger. I don't want to disturb that color corrector that I've put under my eyes. So that's why I'm just using my finger. And then I just went ahead and I'm using it also for my eyelid primer for my eyeshadow. 
but this doesn't settle into any of my creases and when I put, pair it with the Clinique, you can see how well it's going to do uh, with the whole dark, like there's no dark pigmentation peeking through anymore. And then I just use my elf sponge and I just tap in all of that concealer to make sure everything's good. But see how it just does a great, great job. Love it. I'm going to set my under eye area today with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Face Powder. I have this one in the shade Creamy Natural. I don't use a lot. I, I just want to put enough under my eyes that that concealer is going to stay in place all day. I don't want it to look overly powdery. That's why I'm just li like lightly tapping it in. I don't usually use a lot of powder on the rest of my face just because I do have very dry skin. Uh, but I do like to put it a little bit in my smile lines and I find the foundation doesn't uh, sink into those areas as much. For an eyeshadow look, we're going to go in with the Essence Little Eyeshadow Palettes. Now, I did have a viewer ask me to recreate uh, the look that I did in my gift guide uh, video. Uh, she asked if I could please recreate that look. So that's what this is. I'm going to do my best to recreate it. I know the products that I used. Uh, so I used the one shade from the Nude Palette. And I'm putting that all over my lid. Then from the Movi palette, that shade is called Yeah Nice. And I'm putting that right in the crease area. I'm not putting it right directly in my crease, but right above it. Uh, because I do have a little bit of a hooded eye. And it's just going to give me a little bit of depth and dimension. I look straight ahead into the mirror. And I find that's what works best. Using that same mauve palette, I'm going to go in with, it's called Catching, and it's a, a, like a slate gray kind of shade. And I'm putting that right on the outer V part of my eye. Again, trying to just give me myself like a little bit of depth and dimension on the eye. And the key to the, these eyeshadows I find is just like blend, blend, blend. They're a great little formula. They don't look patchy at all. Then I'm going back into the nude palette into the shade Give It Another Try. And I'm using that as my, like my shimmer shade that I always put kind of in the corner of my eye. And I find it just really helps make my eye pop. Again, giving me that confidence that helps me get out the door in the morning. So I swatched the shades in order that I use them. So the first one is the 15 Days. That was my transition shade. And then I had Yeah Nice. That was in my crease. Then Catching was in the corner of my eye, and then Give It Another Try was the shimmer shade that I put in the corner. And then I'm going to take all those shades and run them underneath my eye. I find tight lining my eye really helps give it a little bit of extra oomph. <laughs> so today I'm going to use my L'Oreal Le Liner Signature in the shade Noir Cashmere. And I'm just going to run it along my upper lash line and in my upper water line. I find it just helps close in all of my eyelashes just takes your eyes to another level when you can tight line. See how the one side just looks so much different than the other eye? And then I'm going to use my Rimmel uh, Exaggerate Line Liner. I can't even read this anymore. It's been used so much. I can't, there's not any more writing on it. But I just always use this one in my lower lash line. I think when I use a nice cream shade in my eyes, it really does give your eyes like a little bit of extra pop. And makes it your, like the white of your eyes look a little bit uh, whiter. So that's why I always use like a cream shade. For mascara today, we're going to use the uh, Maybelline Colossal Curl Bounce. This has a nice uh, little wand, uh, two sides to it. Now I'm not, I don't usually do a lot to my eyelashes when I'm going to be wearing falsies. I make sure that I just at least have a coat of mascara on and that just kind of helps the regular lashes and the false lashes uh, really complement each other and they kind of blend as one. But this is a pretty decent mascara. I don't find it flakes on me and it does give me some lengthening and some volumizing. Again, all those things that give me that little bit of confidence. And that's just one eye done with one coat. Then I'm just gonna pop on my Ardell Natural Lashes. I love using just natural lashes. They're not looking too overdone, but I think false eyelashes on me anyhow just help my eyes just pop. Now this is technically not a drugstore product, but I absolutely love this one. It's the Merit Bronze Balm. I have this one in the shade Clay. This is such a beautiful, creamy formula 
bronzer. And these next three products that I am going to show you, they're all going to be cream liquid based. And I think cream products just look so much like so, so beautiful on mature skin. When you use a, like a powder blush and all that sort of stuff, they kind of sometimes can look a little powdery, but I love cream products on my face. I just think it looks really makes my skin look really luminous and hydrated and they just blend in so nicely. So I just do it all around the perimeter of my face to give a little bit of contour and I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm just going to use the BK Beauty uh, foundation brush as, and just like buff it in. But they blend in like a dream. I've never had any issues with this. So this is my favorite uh, bronzer stick if you want to call it that. And it really does take very, very little effort to blend it all in. There's a whole bunch of different shades uh, for the uh, bronzing balm. Always make sure I try and do a little bit of contouring around my jowls because believe me, those are getting worse and worse as uh, time's going on here. And then I'm just going to use my fingers to blend in that contour on my nose. And then once I feel that it's a uh, good, like nicely blended in, I will go in with the brush and then blend in the rest of it. But it looks very natural, not too overdone. So I really like this uh, bronzer. So we're gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush. I have two shades. One is Nude Tude and one is Coralicious. I'm gonna go in with the Coralicious, which is the orangier one. These are extremely, extremely pigmented. So I only put a few dots in and then I, I like buff that in. I'm using that same brush. And then once I think, okay, that one's good, and then I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny bit more on. But I always think it's better to start with a little bit and then blend it in rather than if you put too much on and then it's really hard to take that off. But isn't that just a beautiful shade? It just gives it like a hint of flush of a color. And then I can never go wrong with this Burt's Bees The Luminizer. This is in Starlight. Comes in a little squeezy tube. And you'll see I just need like basically a little drop of it. And this is going to do both my cheeks and my nose and my cupid's bow. So I'm just using my Sigma highlighter brush and I'm just tapping it into my uh, skin. I don't want to put it directly onto my face and I just tap it in. But it's not one of those highlighters that is like a strobe light. It's very subtle and just gives you like a little bit of a hint of a glow on your cheeks. But see how all three products are just uh, really complementing each other and they don't all look overdone. Isn't that just beautiful? It's like a rosy kind of gold kind of highlighter. It's just stunning. It is my absolute favorite highlighter. And then I have a little bit still left on my hand. So that part I'm going to take and that's what I'm going to use to run down my nose and also on my Cupid's bow. This NYX retractable lip liner in the shade Nude is my absolute holy grail lip liner. Very creamy formula. A precise the color will stay all day and that's why I fill in usually my whole lip with the lip liner but absolutely love it and you'll have to excuse the dirty packaging this is the Revlon color stay satin ink I have this in the shade partner in crime this is such a great liquid lipstick it does not dry down like other li liquid lipsticks this will stay all day very comfortable on the lips does not like budge does not move around I love this shade in particular. It's a nice, like a, a like a mauve, pinky kind of shade. Very precise. The little wand has a, like a little point on the end, so it's very precise. Like I said, this just is not going to go anywhere. And it's not matte, which I like. And then to give me the confidence that my makeup is going to stay all day, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I think that's so important to have your makeup stay all day and it's not going to go anywhere. I'd love to hear from you guys of what products you like that make you feel more confident and more pretty. I always like hearing from you guys what products that you like. So leave me a, a little comment down below if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you click off the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.